If the elements of your UI design are reused in multiple places, you should use components. A component is a group of widgets that can be saved and created any number of times. Typical examples are the buttons, heading, or list elements. If you modify one instance of a component, all the other instances will be updated. It makes it much easier to create a consistent and maintainable UI design. In this video, I'm going to show you what the components are and how you can use them effectively. Let's get started. In SquareLine Studio, you can convert any group of widgets into a component. It includes a parent widget and all its children. The created components will be shown at the bottom of the widgets panel, and you can use them in the same way as the others. Now I'm going to show you how you can create a list where the elements are components. We are going to create a settings menu which can be visible or hidden. Let's create our list element. For the sake of simplicity, let's create a new screen to create and edit our component. Add a panel widget to the new screen and name it as item. Set its width to 100% and its height to 60px. Set background color alpha to 0. Add a label to the panel, align it to the left middle, and set the font you would like to use. Change the color of the label to white. I've already created a switch component that you can see on the widgets panel. Components can also contain components. When a child component is updated, all related components are also updated. Let's add the switch component to the panel and align it to the right middle. Add a border to the panel. It will be the separator between the list elements. Set the border color, width, and side to bottom. And that's it. Our list item is ready. To convert it to a component, select the Item widget and open the component section at the top of the inspector panel and give a name for the component. The item name will be fine for the component too. Click the Create button and the component will appear on the widgets panel. The color of the widgets in the list will change to purple from white to make it easier to distinguish components from normal widgets. The components you create will be saved in separate files in the project folder. This way you can easily share them between your projects by simply copying them to another project. When you select a component instance in the editor, two buttons will appear on the inspector panel, the Edit Component and Detach Component buttons. By clicking the Edit Component button, you can edit the created components. With Detach, you can convert a component back to normal widgets. You can overwrite any parameter of the component on each instance individually in the inspector panel. For example, if a list item is duplicated and you want to set a different size for it, you can check the checkbox before width and height fields to set a custom size for the element. I've already created a settings menu component too. This component is already used on the home screen, but it's still empty. For the sake of simplicity, let's create another instance of this settings menu and edit it. In this component, there is a settings content widget in which the list items can be added. So let's add the items there. Since SquareLine Studio 1.2, any widget can have a flex layout to automatically arrange the children. I'm going to talk about it in another video in more detail. Let's add a list item to this settings content panel. Let's duplicate the list item five times. They will be shown automatically below each other. Let's save the component and try it on the home screen. To learn more about how to use the created components from code, take a look at our documentation. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to get notified about the new ones.